You want to start with opening statement, Coach? Yeah, um, uh, we're proud of these guys. They, you know, like they figured it out. They finished the you know, Santa Fe is a, you know, a really good three point shooting team, and and uh, you know, three pointers get you back in when they go through the rim, and it, it got them a little bit back in the game in the first half, um, and and some in the second half. You know, I, I, I'm you know a little disappointed in, in certain areas uh, of you know of finishing games, but. Um, you know, that, that's what practice is for and, and, and learning things So, for conference play. Santa Fe turned the ball over 23 times. I mean, that's way higher than their season average. What were you able to do on defense that disrupted them so much? Well, that, I mean, that's our mojo. We, we you know, try to deny passing lanes, uh, you know, you know, have gap protection on, on, <laughs> dribble, penet on dribble penetration. Um, you know, and our, our guys did that. You know, I mean, our second, our second group that came in, you know, kind of got us fired up defensively, um, and then, you know, and then the first group started to, you know, started to piggyback off of it. So that's what we do: is to force turnovers, defend and rebound. I told them, I, you know, I don't want to call a lot of plays. You know, uh, you know, I want you to get a transition bucket. Uh, you know, and if you get transition buckets, that means that you're getting stops. So that's what we did. Uh, oh, uh, especially late in the game, a lot of quick turnovers, a lot of fast break opportunities on the full court, and a lot of highlight plays. You know, throwing it up for the lobs. Both the games here it seems that's gone that way. Uh, how much you guys love just running the fast break and moving down man, in a hurry? Love it, man. It's, it's going to be all season, all the way to the finish. Like that's what we look like. We take pride on defense, so we can do that. Like you know, have fun on the other end. Just no plays. Just go out. You know, just have some show time for the crowd. Yeah. Coach, now you, you know you got through today's game. Get you know, enjoy Thanksgiving holiday for a couple of days, but back at it this weekend. Uh, but getting through this game at home, how important was that to come away with a relatively comfortable win? Yeah, very important. You know, it's it's it, you know, it's a Region Eight game. You know, like these games matter for potential tiebreakers. Um, you know, uh, so you always want to take care of your region games. Um, you know, but. It, you know, it was the next game on our schedule, so you know, we treat every game the same. And then, you know, like, are we going to uh, focus on LSU Eunice on Friday? And, and uh, you know, they're a pretty good team as well. So, you know, but we're getting out of our comfort zone. You know, a lot of teams in our league did a great job scheduling a lot of home games early. Um, and we've been on the road more than we've been home. Uh, but that's part of it, um, you, know, you know, and we're learning how to win away from home. Um, you know, so we're going to continue that, prepare for two days and, and, you know, and get us right for Friday night. How important is it to go, you know, you're going to be in Mariana in a gym that you'll travel to in conference play, get your eyes some reps in that atmosphere, in that environment, maybe different, um, you know, shooting, just getting used to, to playing in a gym like that. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's always a good thing. I mean, our league does a great job of, of you know, inviting teams in the league to their classics, you know, because, you know, are we going to be in those gyms, you know, during conference play as well as, uh, uh, you know, in the region tournament. So, um, you know, I like road trips. I, I, as a player, I liked it. As an assistant coach, I liked it. As a head coach, I like it. So, you know, you know I mean, it prepares these guys to play every game like it's on the road. And, you know, if you went on the road and at any level, then you'll win a lot of games. Oh, it looks like, you know, Willie mentioned the lives. You know, how, how, much, how much fun are you guys having? Obviously, you know, it, it's, it's a business mentality, but – you guys having fun on the bench when the game gets like that? Oh yeah, definitely. Like it brings in, you know, enjoyment, just excitement and energy to the team and the whole crowd. So, you know, that's what we take pride in for real. Just, you know, getting back on playing defense so we can do that. Coach Patterson led the way with scoring again with twenty six, but he's such a high effort guy defensively too. It seems like he's always in the face of where he's defending. How much of it just an energizer is he to have him in the lineup because he's just such a high effort guy both sides of the floor nonstop. You're giving him a lot of credit defensively, yeah, um, than I do. But no, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's. I mean, it's, it's not breaking news. He's a talented kid. Um, you know, you know. I mean, in my opinion, Patterson and this guy, as well as a couple other guys, are you know one of the top five, ten JUCO players in the country just off talent. But you know, like he does his job, his ability to score. Um, you know, and he's solid defensively. He still needs to get better in certain areas, talking, but, you know, like when he gets locked in, you know, like then he's elite, you know.
know, like he turns it to another level. I just got to get him there, to, you know, to be an everyday dude on the defensive end. Oh, I got a chance to ask Coach this uh, in the pregame interview, but I got to ask, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? <sighs> Maybe. Ham. Turkey. Ham, ham, ham. ham. Got to be ham. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have a lot of that on Thursday. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thank yeah. you, guys.